What is going on guys, today the time has finally come. We are ready to release our brand new Cod Jumper mod. In this video we will present all of its features and explain how everything works. So let's jump right into the game. So once you are in game you will see that we improved the look of various menus. But we will not focus on this in this video because this is something you can basically experience yourself while playing on the server. As a small hint, you can click on the 3xp Cotjumper headline on top of the screen to directly join our server. So, the first thing I will talk about is the save and load system. For this, nothing changed so far. You can still save your position via double pressing knife and you can still load it via double pressing load. If you don't want to double press your buttons, you can also still bind them in your controls menu. As an alternative, you can also simply double tap your use bind and hold it afterwards to jump through your positions. Your positions stack up to 500 and you can load each one individually via typing the GSM command load or L and a certain position number behind it. If you lost your position because you reconnected, had a disconnect or for whatever reasons you left the game, you can simply restore it via typing the GSM command restore position or RP in the chat. We added a rank system which will give out ranks depending on your playtime on our server. Each rank will unlock one weapon skin which you can select with the GSM command weapon. There are 7 different ranks. Newbie for people with 0 to 20 hours, novice for 20 to 100 hours, amateur for 100 to 300 hours, regular for 300 to 500 hours, adept for 500 to 700 hours, expert for 700 to 1000 hours and finally you will get veteran rank if you played over 1000 hours on our server. Yo what's up everybody it's your boy Drizzy and I'm gonna go on with the member features. We have three different ranks now we have the member, the admin and the leader rank but the admin rank is not being used at the moment. These three groups can choose from six different Azimov skins. The red one, the blue one, the yellow one orange one, the purple one and the green one. To change your weapon simply type the GSM command weapon member and skin number. Another feature which most of you already know is the UFO bind where you simply have to press lean left and lean right to toggle the UFO mode, then press space for going slow and press shift for going fast. Also you can teleport to certain positions. The bind for this you can find in the CJ member controls. Also there are the already known comments TP2 and TP here which simply teleports players to your position or teleports you to the player's position. So that's basically it for the member stuff. We completely changed the voting and rotation system. In our vote menu you can now vote extend 10 or 20 minutes. Also you can vote for a random map and if you want to vote for a map you can search it by typing the map name on your keyboard and then you simply press call vote and the vote should start. We don't have a simple rotation system which just plays map from a list anymore. Instead an end map vote will happen after the time ran out or after an end map vote has passed. You will have a selection of 6 randomly chosen maps and an extended time option which you can vote for via clicking on it. However, extended time will just pass when it has more votes than all the map votes counted together. Also, players can nominate maps for the end map vote. Each player can nominate one map. The maps with the most nominations will be displayed in the end map vote. To prevent overplaying maps, we ban the last 5 played maps from the map vote, so not the same map will run over and over again. The next thing we have here are the HUD elements. The first point as you can see is the custom HUD mode. If you turn it off you will have the usual HUD which you basically have on any other CJ server. If you turn it on you can see things like speed, respawns and all the other stuff which will I explain just in a minute. Next things we have here is the Divar FPS, the crosshair, the minimap, the respawn numbers, the client FPS which is the FPS you can see in the top right corner over here, the speeds and the max speed. Also we have the spectator huts which are the spectators FPS, the buttons overlay and also the speeds and the spectator list. Each one of those can be turned off so you can manage your own hut as you like it. All of your settings will be saved after you leave the server so you only have to set it up once. One more point we have here is the walkthrough hut. This is a really nice feature which can be used for recording walkthroughs. 
it displays the FPS and turns all the other hot elements off. So if you want to do a walkthrough, simply activate this before you start recording your demos. And if you open the demos afterwards with this 3xp mod, it will display the FPS overlay which saves you a lot of work when it comes to editing the walkthrough. So far we only have three overlays, but we will be implementing more in the future. So yeah, that's basically it for the HUD elements. Hey guys, uh, Noob here. I'll be talking about the graphics menu and some other stuff later on. Okay, so first up we have the graphics menu. Uh, the first option is for adjusting the field of view. The three options are 1, 1.125 and 1.2. You can also edit this using the GSM FOV command as you see on the screen. Uh, next we have the full right toggle which can be used to increase your FPS. The next feature is hide near players which gives you the option to hide any player within 50 units which is a very nice addition to the mod. We have a toggle for drawing in-game effects, uh, there's a third person toggle and of course finally the draw decals toggle which is self-explanatory. All your settings will be saved automatically to the server so when you reconnect you'll have your ideal settings all set up for you. The next feature we have is the RPG switch function which is a really nice feature especially for recording demos of jumps or for a walkthrough. You can basically enable an automatic RPG switch away by pressing B41. Now not only the RPG gets switched away, but also the RPG reloads itself without showing the reload animation. If you press B42, you will simply enable sustain ammo without the switch away. There's a little delay after shooting to prevent double RPG shootings for jumps. I think that's it from my side and me no good London, so please don't be too hard on my English skills. Leaders can start speedrun events on maps. You will be notified which way and how long you will have time for finishing it when it starts. To participate in a speedrun event, you can simply type the GSM command SRP in the chat. If you are participating, you will see a green arrow instead of your rank in front of your name in the scoreboard. At the bottom right, there is a cooldown which shows in what time the speedrun event will start. Once it reached zero, there is a 10 second freeze time which will teleport participators to the starting position. If you join Spectate or leave the game while the speedrun event is running, you will automatically surrender. If you hold your secondary grenade button, you will see a scoreboard of the status of all participators. Okay, now onto the future plans. Uh, Virus and Mercury are planning on further developing this mod sometime in the future. Uh, there are plans for adding a time scoreboard for each map as seen in the Jumpers Heaven server. There are also plans to introduce more customizable features for each player. A create a class system could be implemented where players can choose their own locked weapons and skins and maybe also sprays or something else. A donation system may also be added where players can donate to help keep the server running. Uh, they will of course get special donator exclusive features for helping the server. Virus also plans to further improve the speedrun system and there are plans to improve the walkthrough system with more shaders to add more variety. Uh, this mod is written by Virus and Mirko who deserve a lot of credit for all they have done. This took a lot of time and I'd like to thank Virus and Mirko on behalf of the community for keeping COD Jumper alive and keeping it interesting. A thank you should also go out to the original COD Jumper developers who developed the first mod back in the day and set up a stepping stone for those future mods to come like this one. A uh, big thank you to all of the testers and helpers who made this mod possible by giving feedback and bug testing. So thank you to everyone who helped and congratulations to Virus and Mirko for actually finishing this mod despite all of the bugs. One final small note, uh, the default font in the mod is a standard Call of Duty font and it is not the best looking, so please go to the description of this video and download the font patch. All you gotta do is drag and drop the font into the mod folder and as you can see on the screen, the new font is much, much nicer. That's all from me, I hope you guys enjoy the mod and I will see you on the server.